Why do some jets look almost invisible on radar? Stealth isn't invisible ID, it's managing reflections. Welcome to the last episode of Jet Basics by an aerospace engineer. To understand stealth, we need to start with radar itself. Radar works by sending out waves and then detecting what bounces back. The more energy comes back to the radar, the bigger the object looks. That's where radar cross-section comes in. It measures how big an aircraft appears on radar, not by its real size, but as the equivalent area that would reflect the same amount of energy back to the source. By aligning edges and flattening surfaces, designers control where those waves bounce. The F-117 uses flat and sharp surfaces, the B-2 a flying wing form, and the F-35 relies on smooth blended curves. Three approaches, one purpose, scatter the waves away, making the jet appear much smaller than it really is. Shape is the first step, but not the only one. Special coatings and composites absorb some of the radar energy, and radar isn't the only threat. Engines run hot, so infrared sensors can pick up the jet's heat. Designers use things like shielded exhausts, cool airflow mixing, and even special paints to reduce infrared signatures. But stealth is never perfect. You can only reduce, not erase, the signals you give off. And here's where the real game begins, seeing before being seen. Modern fighters don't rely on a single radar anymore. They combine radar, infrared search and track systems, electronic support measures, and data links with other aircraft. This is called sensor fusion. The computer merges all those inputs into one picture, showing the pilot not only where targets are, but also what type they are. That's why today's fights are less about who turns harder and more about who builds the better picture first. So being stealthy means harder to detect, not impossible to see. Shape, materials, and thermal management make you smaller on the enemy's screen, while sensor fusion makes sure you see the other guy first. 